Hey, welcome back. I, uh, I was thinking, like, oh, if I'm gonna move, then I should probably build up some episodes, or videos. I don't like to call them episodes. Um, so that, like, if I have to move, I don't have to, and I can't record for, like, a week or two. I could still post videos every day. That would still be kind of cool. Like, if I wouldn't break my streak. Um, but I think I already have, like... Well, I, I recorded 10 episodes last week, so... I might be good for a while. And I just... I've, I've gotten so accustomed to the 7 episode thing, a day thing, that, like, I don't have enough notes for another day. I can only do 7 days. <laughs> and then I have to have a week worth of experiences before I can do another week of episodes. Um, but I want to keep doing this, I think, until, I don't know, when would I ever stop? There were points in the past where I thought, oh, I'm going to stop because why am I doing this? Nobody cares. But now I'm like so far past that. I'm just doing it every week. It's like a thing I do every week. Um... Like going to the gym. Which I don't even do every week, but... <laughs> um, I would rather do this than go to the gym. I feel like I, this is helping me more. <laughs> I don't think you can kill this thing. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So I have to break this door and then... Then I can be a pumpkin? Wait, can I just do it? No, you have to be a pumpkin. That's weird. Give me a thing. Okay. We're gonna try to talk about this note, um, which I had from a while ago. When I, when I saw my family, it's tough. I don't know if I should really talk about this, but. They were talking about trans people <laughs> and their Christian conservative people, so you can guess kind of like what they were saying. I feel bad talking about this because um, I had this realization like last week or two weeks ago that my family, they're like good people and they don't really believe this stuff, but like they're just kind of talking about it and they're just airing like what they think about stuff and they feel comfortable saying it because I'm there and they're like, oh, Anthony's... A Christian and he's like us so like he won't disagree with what we're saying or whatever or he won't be mad or um, and I'm, I'm not mad at them but maybe I don't know but I'm not a trans person so <laughs> um, maybe I should be I, I I definitely feel like it's my almost my job to like help them with these topics because they do trust me and they do like me. They do trust my opinions about things like, I'm sure, I mean, it's hard because I never talk. So like, how am I supposed to talk about hard things? Shouldn't I start like with easier things? <laughs> um, like, how am I supposed to just give, like they're talking about trans people and like, how am I supposed to just give this dissertation about like how trans people are okay and we shouldn't hate them or something? <laughs> like, it seems obvious, but like, the, what what point would I start with? I guess that's what I was thinking of. Like, what would I say? What should I say to... to I thought about this before about, like... I think the, the gay stuff is a little bit easier to help them with. And be like, you, you don't have to be, like... Worried about this or whatever. Like, there's a way to be a Christian and still be okay with gay people. I, I know they know that, but... Sometimes they'll say things where I'm like, ugh, don't say that. <laughs> do you really believe that? And I don't know if they really do. And I don't want to say anything specific because I don't want, because it's not really, that's like I'm saying, like, I don't know if they really even believe it. I don't want to badmouth them or whatever. Because they said it kind of in confidence, kind of. Would they say that? Well, that was the, I keep doing this, but. That was the thought I had when I was with my cousin because they wouldn't say any of that stuff around my cousin because my cousin is more of a liberal person and they were like, 
So I'm like, okay, maybe they don't really kind of believe this stuff. They just kind of are just thinking about it and just talking about it. Sometimes once in a while they'll say something weird. But like they kind of stay away from those topics when they're around liberal people because they know like, well, I don't really know what I, I think about this or I don't know. Um, so I talked about before the gay stuff, <laughs> like what would I say to help them? And I think I kind of have an idea, but it would still be hard to do. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So with the trans stuff, let's just talk about that. Trans stuff is hard because I don't really know anything about it. It does seem like a thing where if you don't know a lot about it, you probably shouldn't talk about it. Because other people can have really strong opinions in the other direction, and if you don't have very good opinions like in defense of it, then it's going to be hard to convince them. Because they're like, well, you just never thought about it, so that's why you don't know what the right thing is. Can I break this now? What do I do? I gotta look it up. My phone's on low power mode, so it keeps turning off. Enter the crypt through a small hole. Allow my to transfer your bag into base. You can ground pound the casket to reveal a switch. Hit the switch. Have the water. Wow, this is crazy. It's convoluted. I don't want this ghost to kill me. Okay, hit the switch. Where is that? What? I don't even know where that is. Um, so, oh, then I have to transfer it back? Is that for real? I can't just leave? Hit the switch to have the water level near Rusty Bucket Bay rise. Head back to the room with Gruntilla's head and head up to the slope with the door leading to the room. Yeah, I think I have to... Ugh. They should just let you leave. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Huh. Nope. They're like, you gotta go back, and then you gotta go back. That's dumb. I don't like that. Maybe I'm stupid and I just can't figure it out, but... Where's the note about my parents being transphobic? <laughs> Um, you have to be really smart to talk about this and you have to know a lot about it but it's hard because the, the people who know the most about it are trans people and then it's hard for them because they're people will say like oh they kind of are biased right because they're trans so like obviously they want you to agree with their lifestyle or whatever so like it would be helpful for someone like me to learn about it because people could trust me because like I don't have a dog in the race, right? <laughs> I'm not a trans person and I'm not um, not a trans, I am not a trans person. Nah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so then people could maybe trust my opinion more because I'm like, whoa, I'm not biased. So if I'm like, trans people are okay and I'm a Christian, you'd be like, what, how is that possible? Maybe they think I'm secretly a trans person. I don't know. <laughs> um, this was hard to figure out. Been through here like 20 times. Um, so I would have to learn a lot more about it before I started this kind of a conversation. And I think it would start with like gay stuff <laughs> and be like, gay people are okay. Um, because you could just say like one thing that could be easily dismissed that's like wrong. Like, I, I don't know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sure I thought of things while I was sitting there um, that, that if I said it, they would just dismiss me because it wouldn't be a very well thought out point. And then anything else I said about it, they, they would have already made their opinion like, well, the first thing you said was stupid, so I'm not gonna trust anything else you say. Um, 
So you do really have to start off on like a good foot. The, the one thing they said where I almost jumped in. Um, I didn't really want to say exactly what they said, but I won't say who said it. Like my whole family was there, like a lot of people, like 10 people were there. So I won't say who said it, but like one person was like, so what happened recently? It seems like all of a sudden there's like all these trans people. Like why didn't this happen before? And I had a thought, maybe what I'm about to say is transphobic, that's possible. Um, that's very possible. <laughs> Cause I don't know what I'm talking about, like I said. Um, well, the first thought I had is, well, obviously modern medicine makes it easier for people to transition. But people used to wear women's clothes. Like, that used to be a thing. People wanted to be... They liked being feminine and they liked being a woman. Um, that's not really a new thing. It's just that people now have access to healthcare a little bit more. So they can get medicine, that, like hormone treatment and stuff. So that's a kind of answer where it's like, they can't really get mad at me because I'm not being like, oh, gay, trans people are, are okay and everything they do is fine. I'm not really saying that. I'm just giving them an answer to a question that they have. I'm like, well, obviously to me, like modern medicine helps more people transition. So like a lot of people before wanted to be women, but they couldn't. So they would just wear women's clothes or whatever. And now they would do like, like drag things have been, a thing but now people can actually transition they can get surgeries or whatever um so was that transphobic i don't know i don't think so it didn't sound too bad the one thing that i could say that would probably sound transphobic i might as well say it <laughs> because uh, because i don't know if i really believe it i don't know what i believe about it it scares me when kids transition from like like younger people who are under 18 I guess that's hard that's a hard thing I guess it's a really hard topic like what should they do like these people are these kids are really struggling with their identity and they don't like who they are what do we do about it <laughs> should we help them transition that's scary, like a 15 year old boy who wants to be a girl. So then we just cut off all of his reproductive parts when he's 15? That's scary to me, I don't know. But maybe that's transphobic, I don't know. <laughs> some people some people know who they wanna be when they're that young, I guess, but when I was 15, God, I'm 28 and I still don't know who I wanna be. I wouldn't want to make any massive changes and if you have like people online telling you like oh i transitioned and i'm so much happier now like wouldn't you want to do it and see like well i'm miserable i'm a kid everything's awful all the time maybe if i was a woman it would be better so then he goes to a doctor and he's like cut off all my stuff and ugh. but then you can't really undo it i don't know it's scary to me I don't think it's legal, but I think a lot of people want it to be legal. I don't know. I don't know anything about it, really. Um, I really don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, head back to the room with the Gruntilla's head and head up to the slope door leading to the room with the water. Ooh, I gotta get to the <laughs> to this. I didn't even get to the what? I'm just trying to get to the puzzle right now. <laughs> This is crazy. No, did I get to the puzzle? I don't even remember. No, I just raised the water level. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay. Once inside... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Swim to the tunnel and enter the room with the crates. Make your way to the corner of the room where a single crate... Whoa, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. This is impossible. This is impossible. It's not this way. Good God. I'm gonna have to look at a walkthrough. I can't end this episode without getting to the place. Uh, ugh. 
I'll just make this episode a little bit longer, I guess. This is ridiculous. This is the... Okay, what's the place called again? It's called Rusty Bucket Bay. How to get to Rusty Bucket Bay. And I'm just going to watch a video. Opening Rusty Bucket Bay, eight minutes. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Should I talk about train stuff while I'm watching this? <laughs> okay, okay, he did. I did that. Raise the water level. Okay, 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 okay. Almost done. <laughs> but it took him eight minutes. <laughs> okay, oh, where did he go? Where did you just go? What's happening here? Where does he go? Come on, it's lagging. No, it lags right at the point. Okay, here it is. <laughs> oh, this is the slope he's talking about. I keep thinking, it keeps saying go up the slope. And I keep going up this slope. I'm like, this is the, Gr this is the Gruntilda head here, and this is the slope, but that's not the slope. The slope is maybe this slope. I'm gonna get there. Okay, trans stuff. Okay, this is maybe a. Uh, this is gonna sound transphobic too, probably, but. This is a way I could talk to people who are, like, super conservative, and I think it could be a way into the conversation. <laughs> I could say. Trans people are. Well, they're. They're suffering, obviously. They don't want to be who they are. Um, but they're like, the, the, I don't even, it might be, is it a mental illness, technically? Where I just go, oh god. Oh, I thought I clipped through the game. <laughs> um, they are kind of, the, well, they don't, they're ill, right? Kind of? I don't know. I don't want to say anything bad, but like, they think there's something that they're not. They think or they want to be something they're not but is that a mental illness like if i want to be a doctor and i'm not is that <laughs> i don't know like but they're suffering that's the thing got it so a good christian will say like oh yeah i know they're suffering like i want to help them i want to i want them to find jesus and i want them to be who they who god made them like once they find jesus they'll not want to be a woman anymore And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm a Christian, so I like kind of have to believe that. But um, if you're a doctor and people are coming, like thousands of people every year are coming to you and saying like, I, I want to kill myself. I don't want to be a man. I want to be a woman. You can't tell them, well, just Jesus and then you'll be fine. Like, if you're a doctor, you can't really do that. <laughs> you have to have a medical thing you can do. So what we do now is we, the easiest thing to ease people's suffering, who are suffering with this thing, is to just help them transition into what they wanna be. That's the easiest thing to do. Instead of having to make them like being who they are, you can just have them be who they want to be. Um, okay, finally. So that's the problem I guess I kind of have with, uh... Like if you're a person who, who's trans and like you're really struggling with everything and someone comes to you and like, Hey, there's this Jesus person, and if you believe in him, you won't want to be a woman anymore. 
You'd be like, what? You're ridiculous. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like, have someone be a Christian and then have the, so a trans person, they're trans and they're like, okay, I'm gonna become a Christian because everybody's telling me, or, or because people tell me it'll make me happier or whatever. So they become a Christian, they become a real Christian. They pray, they go to church, they love their neighbor, they love God, they help people. And they still want to be a woman. What would you say to that person? Would you say you're just not loving Jesus enough? What would you do? What would be your solution? Wait a minute, do I want to do this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, make your way. Good God, man. I'm not going to watch the video anymore because I know where I'm going. Boopy dooby dee doopy dee. This has been a whole adventure. Okay. No. God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so close. <laughs> this has been ridiculous. Okay. Head back to the room. Let's uh, do that. Once inside, swim to the, okay, do that. Make your room to the corner of the room with the rare insignia. Smash it. Uh, after allowing the water to rise, enter the hole. Okay. Enter the hole. There it is. Um. So that's my whole thing about trans people. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I would um, try to say to, to my family to be like, I would give them that scenario, I guess, and say like, maybe focus on making people Christian first and then they don't, they, they want everybody to, to stop being trans, but it's like, but you're not giving them any solution. Like, what are they supposed to do? Just be a man? They, they couldn't. They couldn't live that way. They were killing themselves. <laughs> they were committing suicide because they were so depressed because they weren't a woman. Like, so you have to solve that problem. You're not solving the problem if you're just being like, well, I'll just do whatever. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. You're not solving the problem if you're like, even if you're like um, a pastor and you're like, being gay and being trans is bad. Well, wait a minute, I'm a Christian and I wanna be gay, so what's up? Am I, oh, so what's wrong? Like, am I not praying enough? Am I not being a Christian enough? Why, why do I still wanna be gay? You don't look Jesus enough. After allowing the water rise into the hole that can now be reached on the right of the room, smash the gate on the right. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Scooby dooby doo doo. I found it, finally. Now I just gotta find. Imagine if you found this and then you still didn't have enough puzzle pieces. I got enough. How do I do the thing? I wish there was like a real puzzle and you had to solve the puzzle. Okay, I'm done. I'm not getting there today. Where is the rusty bucket? Oh, it's right there. I might as well melt. I might as well get there today and just go inside. It's right there. Does that make sense about my tree and stuff? <laughs> this was a long episode. Maybe I should put that in the title, like trans stuff, and then people will watch it. They'll be like, whoa, it's like 30 minutes long. That's going to be a good episode about trans or whatever. Um, there we go. We're here. Cool. Can I save? Nah, whatever. Okay. Oh, another week, another week, another week, another week. Oh. <laughs> 
Anything like what happened? Am I getting old? Oh, I'm 28. I'm an old man. I need a knee replacement. Okay, well, that's it for the week. Hope you had fun. If you need, uh, if you need me to solve any of your problems, leave a comment and I'll solve your problem. <laughs> this could be like an ask. What was that magazine thing called? Like, ask. Rude Judy or something ask Rudy. I don't know <laughs> where you like ask her questions and she's like I've got a 200 IQ like and I'm a psychologist. I'll help you with your problems Okay, whatever see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye